Hey guys, it's Corey from Unified Masters. So I just went on a little meditative walk and um, some things are coming to the surface right now. The real, the real, the real disease is the dis-ease that we encounter in our day-to-day. -day. Right now, the realization of all the inorganic structures that are occurring here and now and have been occurring is creating a discord within. And so when we get faced with reality, what it's time to tune into is what is real. What is organic in nature? The trees, the grass, the sky, the water. Lean into what is real for you, the love in your heart, the love of a loved one, of a beloved, a family member, a pet. Lean into your true organic nature. We're seeing this, the falsification of what we thought was true. And so we tune into what is true and expand upon that. So what is true within you? Is it the light you hold? Is it the way you carry yourself? Is it the love you share with others? Is it the love you share with yourself? Is it the compassion for another individual? What is true to you? The focus, okay? Coming back to the magic magnifying mind. If we focus on the falsification, we amplify on that frequency. If we focus on our own internal truth, we amplify that frequency. What are you putting your energy into? How can you fill yourself with the most organic environment for you today? Now, I, I, I recognize if we live in a metropolis or we live in, in an urban environment, there might not be a lot of organic natures around us. So find that. Is there a patch of grass you can go to and you can sit on? Can you go to a playground with your kids and go and go dance and play and you know, take out the bubbles, enjoy, enjoy the weather, enjoy the earth? What is real to you? What is organic that you can lean into that will help you to maximize on that and call forth more of that into your reality stream? What is true to you? Ask yourself that today. What is true to me? What is real in my life that I can lean into and allow that to be the focal point of my reality today. Focus shift is necessary right now. Where is your energy being fed into? Okay. Some of us can't help but to feel the iron curtain or the blanket of the collective and the weight of that. But we can shift that weight by focusing what is true to us and living in our joy in the heart space. In knowing that true divine love and that true divine support is available to us all. We just need to tap into that reality. How do we tap into that? By asking, by leaning into that reality stream. Call it forth into your environment today. Call upon the divine, call upon the sacred to hold you, to hug you, and to be with you. Most important, be with yourself. Hug yourself, love yourself, love up on yourself. Give yourself a nice warm hug. Be like, I love you, body. I love you, spirit. I love you, mind. I love you, emotions, even the weird ones. Love up on yourself today. Give yourself that moment, that opportunity to just go, I love me unconditionally. And I love the times we're in. Regardless of the falsified nature of our reality, I know what is true to me, and it's in my heart here now. And it's available to me. I can tap into it at any point in time. All I have to do is breathe into it drop into it and just stay there what is true to you there's a lot of very beautiful real things in this world but you must find them you gotta find them sometimes it takes sifting through the mud puddle to find that little nugget of gold 
But when you find that little nugget of gold, what you do is you hold on to it and you cherish it. That treasure is yours alone. That golden nugget of truth and reality is a direct process of your alchemization. The effort that is put forth into digging through that mud and finding that golden nugget of truth, that is the real reward at the end of the day. So then what do we do? We focus on it. We focus on that little golden nugget of truth and we realize how truly abundant we are and then we allow it to double. We multiply and we amplify on that frequency and then we allow it to radiate and shine without within our entire being. And then all of a sudden, the rest crumbles away. Even if it's coexisting around you, it crumbles away. It starts to get further and further away into the distance until it's just this misty fog off in the distance, a simple remembrance of what was. And that focal point on that golden nugget of truth that is you helps to call forth that new, that golden reality that you're waiting for. And it's waiting for you. It's, it's out there. It exists here and now. We're in the quantum. As soon as we speak it into existence, that golden nugget is available for us. All we have to do is reach up and pull it into our reality. How do we pull for it? How do we get it? How do we get it? We be. We, breathe. we be and we call it forward more and more and more. And the more that we do that, we begin to amplify our gifts, our magnetism. And we just keep calling that forward. So all of a sudden, one morning you wake up and boom, there it is. It's all here now. It's all available to us. We just need to call it forward. We don't attach to it. We don't anchor into it. We simply speak it into our existence. And we just allow it to arrive. What is happening right now will soon be a distant memory. That is filled with gratitude. That is filled with hope. That is filled with peace and with joy. Because we know what comes after the storm. It's the sunshine and the rainbows. We know what happens once the storm and the dust settles. New. New arrives. When the storm comes and it shakes the land, the winds and the rain pick up all of that residue that's been built up on the streets and kicks it up. Then all of a sudden you wake up that morning. The clouds are gone. The sun is shining. It's here now. We are quantum. It exists here and now. So let's pull that forward. Let's anchor it in. Breathe it in. Where do you want to be? What do you want to see? What do you want to experience? Capture that moment into your mind's eye now. And say thank you. Thank you, universe, for providing me the opportunity to be able to get my order right this time. And I am in full, open allowance of the arrival of this new to come to me now. And I cannot wait for its arrival. I am detached from the outcome. I am detached from the how. I will live in flow unconditionally. And I will allow it to be what it is. And every single day, through living in that frequency of joy and love and everything that I desire, I know without a shadow of doubt that that reality belongs to me. And it's on its way. The ships are on the way. So what can I do today? What can I embody today? What action steps can I take today to be grateful for the arrival of this new experience? How can I embody that new today and every single day and walk that and talk that and breathe that and live that with integrity? So when it comes, I'm ready. I am prepared because I put in the work to call that forward into my now. Do this every single day. Visualize that new and keep calling it forward. Keep bringing it closer and closer and closer. And through that being state, we become receptive and open. Every morning you wake up and you say, universe, thank you so much today for giving me another breath. 
giving me another opportunity to be able to walk this earth and to be a soul in body. Show me the magic. How does the universe respond? Of course, my love. You want to see the magic? I'll show you the magic. And here it is. All you have to do is be, be yourself authentically, unconditionally, and embody all of these aspects that you want, that you are crying for, and just trust that the sails are coming in, the ships are coming in for you. It's here now, and it's available to you. All you have to do is grab it and pull it forward. So much love and respect to all of you out there. I love you all unconditionally, and I will see you on the other side. Namaste.